Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cold Swing Rod Shop. I'm Derek Fraser. I'll tell you what we've been working on this past weekend. Didn't get much done during the week because my daytime job got in the way of uh, a lot of the nighttime activities we usually do. Um, we did a little work on the 32-3 window coupe. I got one of the seats out, got her jacked up, and we're going to take the other seat out. Uh, one of the things we have to do to it, the door has sagged a little, so I've got to adjust it up and then we'll start working on the carpet. So kind of touch this a little bit. Um, over on the 32 pickup, uh, what I did is I dry fitted the new radiator in, so I've got basically it set perfectly the right distance away from the firewall. Um, I went out and I fitted a bottom hose. I found one that I had from before. One trick when you're fitting hoses um, is you take bits and pieces of it, of other hoses, and put some metal in between and, and tape it up much like this and then you run to your local Napa store or CarQuest or anywhere else that will let you actually go back and look at all their hoses and then try and fit and find a piece that I could cut off. Well I went to three places three places on Saturday and I came up cold so I resorted to the universal fit hose that I also have on the 29 so um, this one was found off of another hose that I was able to cut shorter. Um, the top one, I wasn't so successful. I would imagine if I went into the city, uh, I might have a greater success, but it, it's not so bad, it'll work for now. Um, another thing I did was I took some parts and I will insert some pictures. I sandblasted some of the pulleys and I, and I painted them um, along with the, uh, this is the original frame. It's kind of pitted for the for the rear window there. I was going to try and make a new one, but I thought it was kind of cool just to use the original. So I sandblasted it, epoxy primed it, and put a coat of black paint onto it. It's all been straightened out. I mean, it'll go in there and it'll work. I mean, texture's kind of cool, so I'm going to leave it just as is. On the inside, the um, transmission tunnel, I cleaned that all up and painted that as well. So it fits in there nice. It's still going to be screwed into place, but I don't want to do that yet because there's one or two more little things underneath I have to hook up. Then in the back, um, I painted the gas tank. Um, as you saw in another episode, there was a little body work onto it. So I cleaned it all up, uh, epoxy primed it, and then put a nice coat of black paint onto it. I thought the black and the blue would go well. Once the box on it, you're not going to see it. The fuel line, I got the fuel line came in on Friday from, I ordered it from Amazon. It is a braided steel line, but I've got to go buy some fittings um, to basically attach it to the frame and then plumb it up right to the gas tank. Right behind the camera lady there is the, the fuel tank pickup and the fuel tank uh, sending unit which will also have to be fitted in the gas tank. Um, doesn't seem like much but it took most of the weekend uh, between doing some other activities so that's where we are with the 32 Ford pickup. Gas tank is pretty much in, got a couple more things to do like I said with the, the transmission tunnel we put in and oh I fitted the uh, the seat just in for, uh, for giggles kind of thing just to see how it would fit. It, it was in there already um, also, for storage reasons, it's in here and it's not on the floor and in my way. Um, so that's it. That's the update uh, from this past week. Any questions, shoot me an email. Please like and subscribe. And everybody have a happy Halloween. Take care.